So, in 2015, we were really excited to introduce our new uh, smart OS called Tizen. Tizen is an open source platform, meaning that developers from all over will be able to develop content that will be able to adapt into the smart platform. And the user experience is really going to be expanded upon. There's going to be more choices than ever before in terms of content, in terms of entertainment, in terms of connecting devices, which we call convergence, where I can go from sharing content from my phone to my TV, back from my TV back to my phone. It's gotten easier than ever before. We've been doing this for a while, and it's been uh, a little bit of a process to get something from your TV to your phone. Now I can literally do it all with one click. But in terms of the overall interface, we've gone from a very wide five panel layout where things were separated into specific categories. Now we have them all in one nice, easy, easy to navigate, very responsive, whoops, area. I can go in and out of what I've done recently from apps to streaming to live TV and one of the nice things now is instead of having to have something open, close it out and then go find something else and open it back up, I can toggle between different selections almost seamlessly and in no time at all. I also have a featured section, so if I'm looking for something new, I can go right in here and I can find recommendations based on what's popular and what's being used across a smart TV platform. I'm looking for apps, no problem. Any of the apps that we've had from over the past few years have been able to port into the Tizen platform with no loss at all. So it's all still there, all my entertainment selections, my streaming services, any of the games that I've wanted to play from the past, right here in the new smart platform. So the convergence piece that I talked about before, the ability to connect devices, that's a couple steps this way. We're going to go check that out next. Thanks, sir. You bet. All right. So here we are in the convergence room. We mentioned this when we were talking out there about one of the nice things with, with, uh, with Tizen and one of the benefits to the user is something called convergence. And convergence is the ability to connect devices for various reasons. So we're going to run through a couple of the things and how easy they are to do when we're pairing Samsung mobile devices to our 2015 smart TV lineup. The first thing I'm gonna show you, and you'll be able to see right here, is that I'm gonna play a video file that I have on my phone, and then I'm going to transfer it to my TV over here. Now the neat thing that's gonna happen here is you'll notice that my TV here is off. My phone is gonna use something called Bluetooth Low Energy, or BLE, to power the TV on, then it's gonna establish a Wi-Fi direct connection with the TV, so that my video that I'm playing on my phone will show up here. So I'm going to touch my video button. I'm going to play. And then with this touch right here, mobile device to TV, the Bluetooth low energy connection has now happened. Or Bluetooth BLE connection has now happened. My TV is on. And now via Wi-Fi Direct, I am streaming content from my mobile device to my TV. So now we're gonna show the opposite. I'm gonna take the live feed from my TV and send it back to my mobile device. So, from one touch right here, which is called Quick Connect, I'm gonna to connect to that TV. We'll try that again. And I am going to screen mirror TV to mobile device. So now, whatever I'm playing on my TV, Blu-ray, set-top box, whatever it may be, if I want to take that content with me, I can do that with this. Now, it's not like I can take live TV out to dinner or anything like that because you have to maintain a Wi-Fi direct connection. But what I can do is if I want to take this out into the backyard because it's a nice day, I want to watch some football outside, but I don't want my TV on to be sucking up my power bill, I can actually power my TV off. The connection is still there, the signal is still transmitting, and I've still got live TV on my mobile device. And this is all possible and powered by the Tizen technology in the TV smart platform. And one last thing I'd like to show you 
is something we're really excited about called briefing on TV. Think of this as a new way of waking up in the morning. Rather than having to have the blaring alarm from your mobile device, I can actually have my mobile device, when the alarm goes off, trigger the TV to turn on, turn my TV on so I could have sports or the local news or whatever it is I like to watch come on on TV and then I can also have a couple highlights about the day ahead such as the current time, weather, and I can also have it synced to the calendar on my phone so I can see all the appointments I have right there on my TV. Again I'm going to go back in here to Quick Connect, connect to that TV and right here I'm going to set my briefing on TV, slide the alarm on, so let's imagine that this is happening at 6 o'clock in the morning. And this is going to happen through something called Wacom LAN. Now it's basically your mobile device and your TV need to be connected to your home network or your home router because this is going to happen through those means rather than that Bluetooth low energy. Reason being, your phone might not be within Bluetooth range of your TV. My alarm went off, my TV is on, and now I have this nice overlay here that's showing me about my day ahead. And this is the first version of this, of this feature. So we might see things down the road that are included up there like local traffic. So I got to know that it's time to get ready and I need to get going quickly because it's going to take me a little bit longer to get to work in the morning. Might also have local news headlines as well. Also nice that it pulls some of this information from the internet. So if it's a sunny day or a rainy day, my little overlay here is going to change. Same thing if when it happens uh, at night versus during the day. It's going to turn dark. It's going to show me stars. So it really is uh, intuitive. And those are some of the convergence features that we're able to access with the Tizen platform this year and how we're connecting it to Samsung mobile devices.